Anime. 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 <laughs> What's up, Weeboo Gang? What up, Weeboo Gang? Welcome back to Baki the Grappler, which is literally turned into like a <laughs> number one episode. Number one, like, series on our channel. Is it turned into number one? I thought Haiku was number one. And then, like, but Baki slash Kuro. We, def we definitely enjoy all the series we're watching right now, but this, what I was gonna say was, this show has turned into, like, an animal killer show. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Gina does not like it. But, like, it's kind of <laughs> funny that um, Dopo in the Netflix series was like, yeah, I used to kill tigers, but I'm not so proud of that. That was pretty dumb. <laughs> and he actually literally was like, yeah, and then they actually came after me, yeah. like, so, insinuating me. <laughs> so it's kind of funny like it, it makes me wonder if they got in trouble for this um just kind of like some backlash or like, like some backlash for doing <laughs> that which would it would be kind of funny but i mean it's it's a cartoon um, and the time it was taken in yeah. uh, you know it's like but man they really did yasha 830 they literally brought him in probably paid him like bananas or something and then <laughs> Like, Bananas he, for your life, sir. He didn't even have a full episode. He literally had the end of an episode and the first 30 seconds of an episode. Like, that's so wild. He didn't even get to step onto stage. He died in the tunnel. They killed him in the tunnel. Yeah. And dragged his body out already dead. Like, yeah. damn, they did him so dirty. <laughs> he did a couple backflips, though. There's that, so. Oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, um, basically they're hyping up the battle between Katsumi and Katsumi and uh, oh, yeah. Baki. Yeah. So the tournament's gonna continue, and hopefully we get to see some crazy battles because it's pretty wild so far. So Aki has to get revenge for his friend. Yeah. Yeah. That's my friend. Yeah. But yeah, let's get into this episode. Dude, they love to kill animals for real. They killed the lion. They killed the tiger. Cause you get a sweet title, you're like, all right, now I'm the tiger slayer. Lit for real, though, dude. I killed a pan slayer. <laughs> Oh man, did it work? Yeah, but... Oh, with the no yeah, volume yeah. though. What's his name again? He's some Russian dude. I think. Oh, oh, Strider. Okay. I think is the... Or is this a different one? Tell me, Captain, what is your experience with nitroglycerin? I know it's used in the production of dynamite, but I've never handled it, sir. Synchronicity. It's <laughs> long regarded too dangerous for any practice. Nitroglycerin. What little nudge and... No! <laughs> Bro, he vapes. He vapes <laughs> hard. You will escort tonight, <laughs> just as volatile. Smoke rings, bro. Code zero. <laughs> For the next 24 hours, you and your team do not exist. The rendezvous point will be determined in route. Once you've acquired the subject, follow his instructions to the letter. The fate of this nation is on your watch tonight, Captain. Understood, sir. Sir, if I may. Ours is the most technologically advanced nation in the world. We have the strongest and most capable military force, bar none. Why should we walk on eggshells for this one man? History, Captain. It shows us that even empires can fall to one man. And son, the man you have to deal with tonight could topple the world. In the next few hours, you're going to get closer to true darkness than any decent... Soul. Are they talking about you, Jero? I <laughs> think so. The rules I gave you weren't to protect our nation. They're to protect you. <laughs> All due respect, Colonel, the man sounds like something out of a Greek myth. Are you calling me a liar, Captain? I've seen him with my own eyes. This is no bedtime story. I need a born leader, not some gung-ho brat who thinks he has all the answers because you don't, Captain. You have orders. Damn, put him in his are place. Yes, sir. He's like, bro, you're five. <laughs> <laughs> is the volume good? I can hear you, yeah. Is it too loud for you? Is it too loud for you? Mm. Okay. Let's turn. We landed safely, Mr. Hanma. Yeah. That's excellent. Where is my helicopter? <laughs> I don't want to waste any time. <laughs> Our strongest of elite unit shouldn't be disrespected by a stupid civilian. I don't care who he is. LOL. We face greater danger than this every day. He'll see no fear in my eyes. I'll show him that. 
this guy who's crazy enough to hunt you right <laughs> is that me uh, I think right just what you trying to say anyway um, hello. I'm saying you have a propensity for excessive violence and I don't care for it you only beat men who can't well Baki looks small to kill just for kicks I can't believe you're dope or Orochi so I can't believe you <laughs> use the word propensity Look, we destroy each other for a living, Bob. You didn't get the t-shirt. Or are you <laughs> sore because I showed some guts out there? Take some advice. Stop living in daddy's shadow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they really don't like each other. It's pretty wild for Baki to strike first at this point. Yeah. He actually seems angered. Orochi is my next victim. Why are you trying to steal my catch from underneath my nose? Tough. I can tell by the scar on your cheek. Damn. Dang, Katsumi's wild. Bro, Katsumi gets beat up because he has a freaking big mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh. Everybody, everybody thinks they're a man until Yujiro walks in. <laughs> they can feel the vibes. So half Japanese, half Chinese, but does Taekwondo <laughs> and is a Marine. He's like from all over the world. Strong knees. Dude, I need to beam the hell out of him. Damn, son. <laughs> Either the guy he's fighting is really weak or he has really strong knees. <laughs> he's really stretchy. <laughs> Shinobi. Shinobi. American boxers are trained to fight an opponent standing right in front of them. The attack zone is limited to a space of about two or three cubic feet, depending on each individual's reach. That space is all they're equipped to work with. I see. So as long as Moko stays out of that range, he keeps himself out of danger. Exactly. And Moko appears to be well equipped to attack from the outside. Damn, bro. My gosh. How many take that? It isn't worth it, Olam! Come on, stop the fight! Moko Lee's got McGregor cornered by a wall now! <laughs> Give up, man. I know you must be hurt. Your legs have never been attacked before. I calculate one more good strong kick. His legs are jacked, dude. Yeah, dude. Here's to your career! <gasps> Thank God. Oh snap, he's in the box zone. You're in the no. zone, buddy. Hell yeah. Oh, oh that's lit. Ooh, look at that teeth. <laughs> They're all shook. <laughs> See, that's Damn. what happens when you believe in yourself. He hit him so hard he bounced up into the air. <laughs> Bounced into the air. Moko slides uncontrollably. Oh my god. Olam pushes off the fence and he's got him. It's over! 
Wow. What? Who's here? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. You zero. Zero. No. My tournament. <laughs> Don't do anything to ambush it. I'm not here to ambush anything. I'm here to make your tournament better. <laughs> you want the strongest. Your roster is missing a name. Instead, your tournament is filled with dead weight. Huh? Allow me to substitute an inferior fighter with a more deserving one. What the fuck is Yujiro's problem? <laughs> like, I'm gonna just grab this dude and beat him and kill him. What oh the? my gosh! Yo, he pulled an Oliver, dude. He literally just turned in somebody into a pretzel. Folded his, uh, folded his ass. What the? I reserve to take his place. Who is that? That's someone that was watching him. Can't believe I just saw that. Who is this guy? Oh, you sure is so sicko mode. I know. <laughs> what the freak? But who the heck is that secret agent man spy? Yeah, I have no idea. I like his pants. He slapped him. Like Are you certifiable? That's a good man's life you just destroyed. Yes. Go get a doctor. Hurry! Okay. Oh, I hate it. Better than this. You were a brain traveler. No one may dispute that. You deserved better. As a fighter, you'll get nothing from me but genuine admiration. But as a man, I don't think there's anything about you worth liking. He could, him, he could be you Baki's no brother. I know, right? Like what if he is mind. Baki's brother? <laughs> like a half one. <laughs> Who is this guy? Why have we not seen him in the I new series? I say I approve of all this. Coming in here and breaking a man's back to enter a late competitor is unethical. Half of me wants you to just go back to wherever you came from. But a pleasure <laughs> of Yujiro and the kid has feelings. I won't disappoint you. I promise. Oh, what the heck? He is the leader of what a plot the twist. Most notorious street kings, the Kurenai. Oh. The best fighter you've never heard of, <laughs> Shiva. <laughs> Just pretend he's one of the owls. We took a hundred of them out at one time last spring. The red cloak of the Kurenai is only given to the most respected leaders of all time. Not only is red synonymous with the name Kurenai, but it is representative of the gang's blood oath for brotherhood. Standing across the fighting surface is a Japanese judo master. He is none other than Kohei Hatanaka. Hey, judo man. That sure is a nice looking outfit you're wearing. So, judo uh, man. Be ashamed to get blood all over it. And I just might use that black belt of yours to choke you. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't take his hands out of his pocket. He's too cool, even when he's falling. <laughs> is he like the the, the, the pocket dude from the Great Right High tournament? <laughs> is it? Well, it's not him, but it was, I wonder if he's the same fighting style. I expected more from you, Black Belt. You got. You're about as soft as your little sister, man. Bruh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Disgusting. 
<laughs> the <That's> drawing. Right. <laughs> It's it Looks like your journey ends here, Shiva. Disgusting. Even see that you can't win with your arm broken. What do you mean? I'm fine. If you wish to continue, I'll have no choice but to do more damage to your left arm. And after that, I'll break your right arm if I find it necessary. You'll only cause yourself more harm. <laughs> what is this? Is Shiva giving up? It's broken shiva what are you talking about tendons are stretched flesh twisted but if it were broken i couldn't do this oh, ah! Ew. what the hell so what do you do break it more <laughs> this guy has like a Yo, he's sick of him. Let's go! Oh, shit. Shiva comes back with a merciless headbutt and the momentum has done a 180. What do you think? Of me now! <laughs> he's literally picking someone up with one arm. It's wild. What do you think of me now? Oh, I told you you were too soft, man. Why is he like beating his ass now? The guy's not even like fighting back. Yeah. It's kind of crazy how all the street fighters have beaten like the formal martial artists. Yeah, that's true. Let me go! Let me go! Oh my god. The winner, Chiharu Shiva! And take a look at Shiva's tattoo! The Dragon Slayer. Sick. <laughs> what gang is um Hanayama in? I think he's a Yakuza. Yeah, yeah, he I is. Think. Yeah. Who would leave a pretty girl like huh? you all alone? Pleased to meet you, Miss Kazue. Who My are name you? Is Jack Zama. Huh? Jack Zama? Jack Zama, okay. Oh. <laughs> LOL. If I were your boyfriend, I'd quit fighting so I could stay with you. Just stare into your eyes all day. Those beautiful eyes of yours. Oh, Jack the Poet, jeez. Huh? Hey, man. What's up? Hey! What do you think you're doing? Relax, I didn't force her to talk to me, man. It's no big deal. Huh? She's only a woman. <laughs> Jack Zonma. What was that? What's he trying to do? Cosway hella confused. <laughs> I know. Cosway looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> no one told her anything still. <laughs> These guys are all about to get killed. Literally. Really? So this is your father, Baki? He looks like you. You should have seen his mama. This match pits Kingo Misaki using the art of Shorinji Kimpo against a newcomer to the SFC, American wrestling celebrity Mike Queen. Let's see how a master of showmanship fares against a There's a lot of, like, American wrestlers, actually. Yeah. Well, things have changed. With this new eclectic group of fighters, even you can't predict the outcome. The outcome. He's like, oh, well, okay. Already been decided. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Damn, in the throat. Quick. Wow. <laughs> My queen is better suited for fighting with a script than to take on a Kimbo master. Hello. The winner, Kengo Masaki. I seek mercy for my fallen competitor. I beg that my opponent will have a long and prosperous career and even better life. Uh, what? You have been a most worthy challenger, Mr. Mike Queen. Nice, nice guy. You didn't see that one coming, did you? You Jiro! Hey, look! Isn't that Shemon, the five-category world champion of Muay Thai? Muay Thai. Yeah, you're right. Some people say for he's cows. the best pound-for-pound standing fighter in the world. <laughs> that dude's fighting Shemon with just two fingers. Who, in the name of Mother Earth, could do something like that? That's the king, man. That's your Juro. Champions are all over the place these days. They hand out titles to everyone now. But your prizes don't speak the truth about you. Jujuro's so wild, dude. He like was just stuck to anyone. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All the champions aren't worth my time. Mmm. Dang. Dude, the scaling in the show is so hard to determine. <laughs> right? Yujiro is just the top tier of it. Yeah. 100% god tier. Yeah. <laughs> but I will say it's a little easier to tell the power scaling in this show than the Netflix one. That's facts. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's when he took all the pills. Jack's back at it. All the steroids. Oh, it's over. Jack Zama. <laughs> Jack Zama the Zaddy. <laughs> That's gotta be the title. Jack Zama? Question mark? That was funny. <laughs> it's like he like tried to hide his name, but like he didn't hide his name. <laughs> um, I wonder if you or I wonder if Causeway figured it out. Um, wow. Okay, so that episode was interesting. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. It was like really action packed. Like that guy, the the gangster dude or the street fighter guy. That was disgusting. Like that was so was like, bam, gruesome. Bam. Like literally just slapping his arm on the wood. He's like, oh, you think this is broken? You want to see broken? I'm happy that he didn't do it like out of mer like that he actually won. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? He didn't he didn't break his arm for nothing. He beat the dude up. That would be so embarrassing. <laughs> like if he just did that whole display and he didn't even win the fight. Exactly. Like what the hell? <laughs> yeah. That's what that's what's gonna happen to Dopo's kid soon. Mm -hmm. I feel it. He's gonna get beat up. All this like trash he's talking, it's gonna happen. Karma happens fast. Yep. Like just hasn't happened to Yujiro yet. <laughs> I feel like it it bounced like to so many like main characters in this episode that like it's like foreshadowing like some really exciting episodes coming up with like the fight with Hanayama mm -hmm. and then Baki and then Yujiro. As a protege. Yeah, like, the pro what the hell? What the hell? How he do, looks like Baki. How come he's not in the Netflix series at all? Does he die? I don't know. Ooh. That would be something. That would be something. But yeah, old Jack back at it with the drugs again. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's like, I guess we get to see like him before he gets all that like skeletal lengthening struck like Skinny, surgery. Yeah. So I don't know. Be interesting. We're we're invested. Like this series has been sick so far. Mm -hmm. So I've been enjoying like the the time skip and like the second half of yeah. the kind of the series. But what do you? What about you? Yeah, I've been enjoying it too. Like, I like that it's just pr 
progressing further into the storyline, like ca- catching us up to like the Boggy we saw on Netflix. Like mm-hmm. it seems like it's starting to piece together where yeah, like we sure. ended. So it's that's like, cool. Oh, this is all starting to make sense. Yeah, so, like, dude. This seemed to be so hype for like season three of Netflix. Yeah. So, or part two of season two of Netflix. Yeah. Why are they gonna confuse us like that? Just be easy. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, comment down below. Let us know what you think. Check out our Patreon. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Peace. Hopefully Baki. Maybe some other ones. But yeah, peace. (laughs) (laughs) Hopefully Baki. But we have... Peace. Peace. Believe it. No. I'm gonna be the next Hokage. (laughs) Come on, you pervy sage. Talking no jutsu. That's my ninja way.